All right, guys, since there's nothing to do tonight, I'm gonna show you guys all the things you guys can do to your car to restore everything during this quarantine time. So you mean there is something to do tonight? There is something. To, there's many things to do tonight. I'm showing sure you guys what to do to your cars while you're stuck at home. Easy and simple things, but time consuming. Not because my car is dirty <laughs> or time but I love it. not because my car is dirty or my car is needs cleaning or anything like that. Your car is dirty and needs cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> Not because my headlights are disgusting and all, but it's just because I want to show you guys <laughs> small and easy things to do while you're bored at home and you still want to work in your car. Mom, just because it's not because my car is dirty and needs, needs <laughs> not because it needs to get work on, okay? It's because I'm being nice. I'm sure you guys, <laughs> this is the easiest, easiest things to do at home oh, while your car no. is dirty not my car but if your car is dirty <laughs> where i'm gonna use a pressure washer i have some soap and then i'm gonna clay bar it with i don't know what brand kevin let me roll but we're gonna be using that it might be mcguire's okay, yep it's mcguire's Hope you guys can see this, but clay barring itself already does a lot. Right here, usually when you rub it against your car, you feel how rough it is. Everything is getting caught by the clay. And check this out. Ew, this thing used to be gray. Now it's like brown. So, yeah, this rear bumper, pretty disgusting. You can even hear it, watch. You guys hear that? How rough that is? Ugh. So if I lift that up, see? So I put a piece of tape right here to show you guys the difference afterwards. So you see, you guys see the squirrels, right? Disgusting. But within this square, when I'm done, it's gonna be no squirrels. Well, not not no squirrels, but less, no, almost no squirrels. Itchy is vibrating right now. Cause I haven't done it so long. Yeah, let me feel it. Oh, uh, 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 <laughs> <that was> dumb. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Anyways. So this is the old part right here. I'll wipe it down uh, for you guys. Let's, let's take a look, all right? It's pretty bad. And this side, I just finished. I don't think I'm done yet. I could probably do a couple more, like passovers or pass, what is it called? Passes? Or? You know when you go, how many passes you do? How many rounds? Okay, how many rounds? But let's see the difference. So. Oh, dude, that looks good. Look at that. Of course, Thomas's paint is not the best in the world, but look. If we put it next to both of them, you can really tell. This is a huge difference. difference, huh? Yeah. See, if you take your time with it and you go over it a little bit more, I think I'm, you can I'm make this more. look a lot nicer. But I just want to show them that, like, even when you do a couple times, it does. It makes a big difference. All right, Randy's gonna try to hit it. Let's see how he does. <laughs> Follow me on Instagram, bro, Randy. <laughs> He's done it a couple times. Maybe like doing do it for a living kind of a couple times. <laughs> Thank you.
All right, let's see how Randy did. Okay, let's see. I'm trying to go a little bit faster each time, but. But honestly, the core panels don't look that bad normally, yeah. too. Usually, I think your hood is just really fucked. But yeah, my front end, basically. Yeah. Look, look at that. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Actually, really good. If you're really thinking about it, did I really need to buff my car? <laughs> if it wasn't that easy. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> So unlike the quarter panel, the trunk is actually pretty fucked. So let's uh, let's hit it a little bit harder. All right, guys, it's currently 6 a.m. I'm finally done with the car. Um, honestly, black paint from the angle looks really good, but when you get right on top of it, you still see minor, minor scratches. And I think honestly, it's due to like. After you buff it, you wipe it off with microfiber. Even if it's brand new, it will still leave a little bit of scratches. Um, like right here, you guys see a little bit right. Yeah, you guys see a tiny bit right there. Um, see it there, I'm wiping it off wrong. But I honestly think it's just black paint. And this one is not really that great of a condition. But overall, it looks pretty good. I'm now going to apply banana wax. If you guys remember how we got this, this is from a long time ago. We sold like detail products and stuff like that. I'm gonna apply it on, let it haze for 15, 20 minutes. Letting it haze means you put it on and let it get cloudy and then wipe it off later. Honestly, I think I put too much, but I'm too tired to care anyways. I mean, honestly, the more the better, but it's just gonna be really hard to wipe off later when it's dried. But honestly, it's gonna make the car shine so good. That might be worth it, but it's 6 a.m. I'm so tired. So, uh, I'll see you guys when I wipe this off, I guess. Oh, Faj woke up, right? Mm -hmm. You're not know, supposed to wax for haze for, you know, 15, 20 minutes? <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh... It's been hours, bro. It's one thirteen. It's, it's one thirteen right now. I hazed it at 7. <laughs> 7 in the morning? Yeah. <laughs> and my car is about to be fucking... Polished. <laughs> Watch when the rock shit hits mine, the rocks gonna shatter, bro. <laughs> All right, guys. So I removed everything that I'm gonna paint, which is the side skirts, fender, and the lip. It's gonna be a long process, but I really want this car to look good. So, All right, guys. So if you guys can tell, it's nighttime because I took hours to sand everything off. I kind of kind of regret starting this project, but I really want the car to look good. So this is my. Paint booth. <laughs> this this photo booth is ghetto, bro. The side skirts is held on by barbecue sauce and an old bottle of juice. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even see that. Is that a barbecue, barbecue sauce? Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're just gonna start the <clears throat> primer now. I'm not gonna show too much of the painting because I'm pretty sure everyone knows what, you know, how to paint, like the basics. You know what I mean? I'll show a little bit, not too much. I'm gonna give you guys a tip that I don't know if it's gonna work or not. <laughs> All right. The tip is if you guys. Or like us, where you don't, you can't paint in the daytime, and you prime at night, and it gets all rough, like all rough and stuff. Just wet sand it after you prime it, and then you spray your base coat, and that's if that's rough, you sand that one too, and then you clear coat it. And if it's still rough, you you would just wet sand every step, and it should look good. It's gonna look like this car. So Boo's here to help us Do it, spray the first coat of black on the fender. We already did like a coat and a half or two coats on the front lip. But yeah, you guys want to start off with a very, very light coat on the first one. And then as you go, you go a little bit heavier if you want, honestly. But I really hate how this tip is on the can. Um, yeah, it kind of hurts compared to like the VHT cans. Those are like the best, honestly. This is the black lip. The only thing that sucks about painting at night with black is you can't really see if you spray too much in one area or not, but worst case, um, we just let it dry after the third coat and then we can just sand it again. And after that step, you can either spray another layer of black or just clear it and it will look fine. I picked up two cans of 2K clear, which is the same clear coat as you know, paint shops and a can though. It's pretty expensive, but it's pretty worth it. All right guys, so I didn't record the process of me fixing the black. It still doesn't look perfect right now, but 
I wet sanded this one and I have a good feeling about this guys once it's cleared it's gonna be pretty damn good it's not gonna be perfect but it's gonna be really 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 good <laughs> I'm excited for this if you guys are wondering what happened to my hand I was buffing the bumper and part of the grill the, the chrome part ripped or broke off and it cut my whole hand from like right here to like right I can't show you guys right here so it's like a three inch cut so everything's wet sanded down Tony's actually in clear color for me because <laughs> I did a lot of work and that would suck if I clear coated and I fucked everything up so I might as well just let him do it because he's way better at this than me Oh yeah, you guys can kind of tell right here around this part and over. I want it's, it was supposed to look like this side, but it looks like this side. The reflection is the kind of like yellow, <laughs> it, not yellow, but yeah, kind of yellow grayish. It's, it's it's different. My car looks like this when light hits it, and this is the wrong paint I bought last time. So uh, I'm pretty sure I'm screwed, but. It's okay. All right, guys. So I just wet sanded it. Uh, I think the initial paint job that me and Vu sprayed, that first can, really fucked it up. You guys see like all these marks right here. All right, let's hit this. Shout out to Randy and Wen for letting us borrow this. <laughs> I actually got a lot of stuff done with this buffer. Is that enough? Uh, we do a little bit more, but. I don't go too crazy, you know? It doesn't take a lot to actually dig but just put a little... Oh! <laughs> okay! okay. <laughs> Alright guys, I hit it a little bit harder. Round two. <sighs> I don't see as much swirls as before. Yep. It's actually less swirls. It's shinier again. Yeah, it looks good. It actually doesn't look bad. It looks like... So yeah, it is spray can, right? But it does look like a decent condition paint that's old. Yeah, put, hey, put your face right here. Yeah, you can see your reflection. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it's old paint. <laughs> it, feel, it looks like it's good old paint instead of like a brand new, or like a brand new freshly painted shit from the shop, you know? What do you think about the fender? It looks good. Well, it looks really good, right? It's like a professional paint job. Yeah, but check this out. <laughs> All right, guys. So everything's done. The car looks really, really good. But fuck. Hey, the car looks cool, huh? It looks good, huh? Yeah. It looks yeah, good. Not bad. It's not bad. <laughs> Too bad I did all this for no reason. Because <laughs> Randy surprised me with a kit last night. Surprise. Thank you. I, all, I wanted to wait till your channel to do this, but you've been pranked. I'm buying a Lexus. That's actually my kit. You can keep that. No, I'm sorry, good. I'm keeping that kit still. Ha! Yeah, yeah, you got it. All right, guys. So before we end today's video, I want to let you guys know that we restocked some of the colors, and we got some new ones right here. Damn! Look at that shine. So yeah, if you guys want to help support the channel and support me, please visit the link right here or in the description box below. Damn! Look at this. So yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, guys. See you guys in the next one.